Okay, everybody, time for a big, exciting video. Um, I've got our International 300 Utility Tractor here, and I've been working on converting it to electric. I've got this Mott Energy motor that I've got bolted to a piece of steel that in turn is spaced out from and bolted to this original uh, plate that would have been on the engine that goes to the bell housing. And inside here is a coupler that I built uh, that connects it to uh, the input shaft for the wheels and the transmission and also the PTO. And I did discover that I can actually jam the camera in the hole that I removed the starter from and actually get a shot of that. So right here you can see that's the, the coupler sending power to the transmission. So uh, besides the motor, I also added in a kind of a plywood shelf here. And on that, I've got a 48-volt uh, battery, a circuit breaker, a main contactor, a motor controller. This is a, a brushless DC motor controller by Robotech, R-O-B-O-T-E-Q. Um, and just 12-volt battery to run the contactor. Um, and then for a throttle on this motor controller, what's really cool is that it has a really slick piece of software. It's got a lot of controls in here, so you can control uh, the motor directly from the computer. And then I also have a little tiny uh, thumbstick joystick like you might have on a video game controller or connect to an Arduino or something like that. So I can control the motor from here or from the software. Of course, the software gives me all sorts of cool information like motor RPM and current, um, all sorts of things. So there's a lot of data with that too, which is fantastic. And then it's been a while since I've worked on the hydraulics, but I was using uh, this forklift hydraulic pump motor going to the uh, original connections for the hydraulics on the tractor and it's controlled over here. Uh, the hydraulics are controlled with those handles. And the other thing uh, with this electric motor, well, okay, so anyways, back on this, I just have it temporarily tied up so it's not hanging on the ground. Um, I think long term I should be able to figure out some way to get it properly mounted on this side of the tractor, down low, out of the way of the steering and the loader and everything. Um, and so on the motor, that coupler also goes to a kind of a rotating collar that's in there that goes to the PTO, but the PTO is independent. So you turn the PTO on and off by pulling this lever uh, up and down, and that activates the PTO in the back. So, since we've got the battery, the motor controller, the motor uh, mechanically hooked up, um, I think we're pretty much ready to spin it. So let's come back around here. So what I've got is uh, this tractor wheel here, I have, um, it's jacked up into the air. So if I make sure we're in neutral, I can actually take the tractor wheel and I should be able to spin it by hand. So there we go. It's just off the ground only by like an inch or so, uh, but very easily I can just spin it. And that's just because we've got a standard differential here. One wheel can be on the ground, but if the other wheel's up in the air, it can spin. Um, and now if we put the camera back in that starter hole, let's take a look at the, there's our coupler from the motor. Now I'm gonna spin the back wheel by hand and you'll notice nothing's happening at the coupler, right? Because the tractor is not in gear. Now I'm gonna put it in fifth gear because that's still gonna be um, easiest. Uh, that's kind of a more direct uh, kind of a gear than the other ones. And now I'm going to spin that back wheel by hand. And we see that we now, in fact, are spinning the motor which also makes me think that since on the software here um, there's all sorts of sensors and things, I should be able to, let's see here, have RPM set up as part of this. 
Here we go, internal sensor RPM. And if I can, there we go. As I spin the back wheel by hand with power going back to the motor, internal sensor speed RPM, we see that change gets up to like about 50 RPM or so. So, since we're in gear, let's not do fifth though, let's do first gear. And then we'll come down here and this slider here is essentially my throttle for testing. And there's also just kind of like a increase it button here. I'm gonna hit this a few times and this should start spinning our motor and that should in turn spin our wheel. Assuming I remember to turn off the e-stop first. Okay, so with the big red here, it says, whoa, 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 you got power on, you're ready to go. And the other thing that's kind of cool here is I can hit the escape key at any time. I could also do that with my wireless mouse. So I've got a remote electronic dead man switch here. And now I'll crank it up a little. Okay, we're spinning at about 50 RPM. And I was not in gear. <laughs> Let's stop that. There we go, that's in gear this time. So now, now let's try it. There we go. RPM. Five hundred RPM first gear. Um, the other big thing that should be noted here is this transmission is designed to only go one direction. That's why I've got that giant yellow arrow right there. Um, it spins clockwise as viewed from this direction. And in the software, I went through all the settings and I made sure that it couldn't accidentally spin the motor the other way. The other thing is I've got that little joystick, joystick set up for regen. So I can, if I change one little setting on here, now the joystick is going to control the motor. So let's give this a little spin. And then it's also set up so that if I, um, if I push to the right, that's going to spin the motor. There's a little bit of an acceleration ramp in there for speeding up and slowing down. But if I press to the left, that's going to regen. So I can push to the right, ramp the motor speed up, let go, it'll start ramping down, and press the left, it will regen. Spinning up. Spinning down, regen and it'll actually slow that wheel down pretty fast. So, uh, very exciting. I've got uh, my little thumb input. I've got the computer for changing all the settings and we can definitely make the tractor move. Uh, next big thing is figuring out what else I have to do before getting it to just drive right out of the garage here. Um, and it's not much, so I think in uh, my next video, I'm going to be driving this tractor. Till then, stay charged up.